Hallelujah. God bless you, beloved. Pastor Lagbon said, what's that is my name? And at the same time, I am that walking pastor who believe in grace, who believe in the Holy Spirit, who believe in the scripture, and who also believe in hard walking because it is written in the Bible. The scripture says, he who does not walk should not eat. How beautiful is that? And that also makes us to understand that what I meant you do, I will bless. He said, a little sleep, a little slumber, social poverty, come on a lazy man. But look at the best scriptures I have. The scripture says, a good man will leave inheritance for his children's children. So, how will a poor man leave inheritance for his children's children? But he said, a good man. So, child of God, you want to be good, you must be hardworking, creating money, creating wealth, generating um, a source of income everywhere. You see, Christians, one of the problems I have with some Christians is this, we are too lazy. We can spend hours to pray. We can spend hours, days, months to fast. See, if you fail to understand the principle of creating wealth after the fasting, after the all night and all, you still be poor. And God will not be moved. I am telling you. After all your thousands of fastings, after I didn't say fasting is not good. We all do it. But shall God, after fasting, make sure you look for the principle that brings money, which is hard working. These 10 fingers God has given to you, you must be using it to do something with yourself. You must use it to work. I am telling you, for those who have 10 fingers, if you don't have 10 fingers, you have a kunushi, you have wisdom. You must be doing something, beloved. As a pastor, you must be doing something. Except God has given you the full-time ministry. Beautiful. But don't drive the ministry. You can't tell me that God calling into a full-time ministry and you have you are now lying on the altar to deceive people to collect money from them. No. Look at some Christians. We just believe in this automatic money. Pastor, we all tell you, uh, I see a strange alert coming your account. I see miracle alert coming your account. It's good though. It's beautiful. But the question is, angels are coming to pay that money in or somebody is going to mistakenly pay the money to your account and you refuse to refund it. Which, will, which is the miracle alert? Listen. Go and work with your hand. And I want to teach you today how to, how to raise money, capital, for your business. If you have contact on your phone, let's say, let's assume it, you have plus or minus, you have about 200 contacts on your phone. If you have 200 contacts on your phone, this is what you will do. Go and buy the charge card. Look for at least a thousand to buy the charge card. Send SMS to that 200 persons. Tell them, this is the body, this is the message you tell them. Tell them, please, let's assume Peter say, Dear Peter, please, I am in a tight corner. I need $5,000 from you to solve a particular problem. Thank you. Because poverty is a problem, sir. Yes, it is. If you send a message to 200 persons asking them for $5,000 on it to solve a particular problem, let us assume, depending on the kind of friends you have anyway, okay? Some of you don't need to ask $5,000, you can ask for $1,000. So if you don't need to ask for one thousand, ask for on two hundred naira. So you don't need to ask for two hundred, ask for uh, hundred thousand. Depends on the friends, the friends you have on your phone. And let's assume you have five thousand. You send to uh, two hundred persons, and just uh, hundred of them responded. Okay. So to manager you'll be having five hundred thousand. Okay. Let's say it's not to hundred that responded. Five thousand. Okay. Um, just fifty persons responded. So you'll be having two hundred fifty thousand naira. Depend on but I know money must come out from it. Now what are you going to do? Do you know that if at all those of you are going to ask your contact and you get ten thousand naira, do you know that a business you can start with ten thousand naira you'll be doing well. Number one business, selling of gari. Go to market on the market, the particular market they go to market. Buy the volume of gari that ten thousand naira can buy. Take it to your your street or your area. Put in a rubber outside your house. Let people know that you now sell gari. Even as a man or a woman, you can do this business. People will start patronizing you because why you are selling Gary. There is no way you sell Gary of 1,000 naira, you finish selling it and you don't make a profit of 1,000 uh, 1, naira. Gary of 10,000, you don't make a profit of 1,000, it's not possible. If you keep doing it for after a few weeks, you must have generated another uh, uh, profit of about 10,000, higher than 10,000 you have. You can increase the volume of the Gary you are selling, or rather, you can add another thing to it, maybe like Okonya, maybe like I have done of Santana. Added to the garage, you are selling garage, you are selling hard on Santana. 
maybe banga, no banga, well, this one that we we'll buy to cook soup. Or maybe uh, raw granite, just wrap it and you know. Sir, the Bible says, see a man diligent in his duty, we will not see with a lot of people. If you are diligent with this business, after like a year, I tell you, you become a mega. If you keep doing it, you become an African market in your environment. If you keep doing it consistently, you see yourself going to villages to buy truck of yam, truck of gari, truck of plantain, and start selling. But with 10,000, you can start it. I've given you how to start, how to raise capital, and I've seen the kind of business you can start with that's low, even as 5,000 ever. You can buy half down, half down of Satan of 5,000, put it in your house. People will buy from you. People will buy, sir. Man, people will buy. Your age does not matter. You'll be 70 years old. People will buy. You could be 30 years old. People will buy. You could be 10 years old. People will buy. Just start doing these things. And before you know what's happening, you'll be glad that you are serving God well. You know the problem we are having? We are too lazy as Christians. You spend three days to drink a manchi oil. You spend one week to drink uh, holy, holy water. At the end of the day, you remember where you are. God is not moved because he has given you the principle to create wealth. How come you are still poor when you are serving the living God? Don't you see that something is missing? But you know the secret, you remain in darkness. You must know this is a secret. Hard working, strategies, wisdom, or not to create wealth. And listen, when you have money, you are serving God. Serving God will become more sweeter. You don't dream bad dream anymore when you are serving God, when you are working and serving God, making money. Look at some pastors. How can you a pastor? A pastor, listen, you break that service at 6 o'clock in the morning every day for one week. What is? What are you looking for? For one week, 6 o'clock every day. So people will not go to 6, you will say 6 to 12, 6 to 12, 6 to 12. For one week, people are losing their job already. People are losing their job already. Even God himself, he worked for the seven days. It was on the Sabbath day, he rested. You, you, every morning, you want to do, I don't know what is wrong with some persons. But I'm not saying church is bad. I'm a pastor. I'm a senior pastor by God. I'm a senior pastor of Divine Women God Church. Check it on God. Check it. I'm a senior pastor. I know what I'm telling you. But most people, we are too religious not to accept the power of hard working. Laziness everywhere. You that call yourself a full time pastor, God bless you. Are you going to tell me that for 24 hours of your day, you are spending all to read scriptures and to do evangelism, to win souls and to do counseling? And... What are you, are you sure you all are occupied with the things of God? If all are not occupied with the things of God, the remaining ones start doing something with it. Even as a pastor, you can make money from online business. Even as a pastor, you can make money from uh, real estate. You can make money from referrals. You can make money anyhow. You just steal it. And you serve God consistently, diligently, faithfully. I am telling you. But see, the reason why you see some pagans, they are even doing better more than some Christians, is because even the pagans, they know the secret that the Christians don't know. What is the secret? Hard working. The word of God says, what I made you do, I will bless. Now you tell me, what will God bless? What are you doing that God will bless? You go to church, Father, receive it. Receive it. Receive. What are you receiving, sir? He said, what I made you do, I will bless. What is he going to bless? When the prophet went to that woman, he asked the woman, I said, what do you want? He said, I need you oil. He's okay now. Go and borrow vessel. But there was little things. There are, there are benefit and profit in little business. He said, God, I don't know who you are. After I put it, he said, you need give money. He said, go and sell and pay your bills. Do you know that with as low as 50,000 euros, you can start all year banking? Yes, now. You know what all year banking? Let me give you a secret of this. Now, there are business you do and you make money. Legit, legitimate. Now, do you know that all year banking? Now, this period that we are entering now, I think we're already finishing March. I'm about to enter April. March, April, August. All year will be surplus in the market. Then oil will be cheap. You that have money, go and buy red. I'm talking about red oil. Buy red oil, buy it in drums. Stock it in a warehouse or in any way. Stock it. Buy it. September, October, November, December. The oil market price has gone up. Sell and make profit. Without you killing anybody, without you stealing. Oil banking is expensive anyway. So, because if you want to buy a drum of oil, you should be having about um, maybe 180, 200. I don't know the recent price because um, I didn't bank this last period, okay? But I'm hoping to bank from next to three months. Oil banking, buy oil and keep. By the time the oil price go up, you see, you make money. People will think you are not doing anything. They think you are doing it, you are doing it, you are doing it. Just the way they are saying it, you are doing a matter of dating game. They don't know that you are making money for businesses. And never you believe you want source of income. If not, you will not be rich. You are watching this video now. Maybe you are you are, the, you are employed. 
you are doing one employee working with somebody, gather money, go and bank all year. Go and bank all year. Gather money, go and open business. Be doing what you see. If you close by four, if you close by four or five in your place of work, six, seven, eight, nine, you could do a business. Six, seven, eight, nine, you, you can do a business within these four hours of every day of your life. And I'm telling you, you do something great. Oh, you don't have time, you're always busy, you're always busy. But there's a, there's a day they give us off. That off day, you could use to do something. Someone say, ah, well, we no time to rest. You don't need to rest until you have gotten what you are looking for. I repeat, you don't need to rest until you have gotten what you are looking for. I hope this video will be a blessing for somebody. I'll just share a few things to you. 10,000 naira and turn to become a multi-millionaire if you are consistent. God bless you. Until I see you again, Pastor Agumasa, my name is my name. I remain a walking preacher.